This video is going to go into how we can attach a field from a sailor line right onto a invoice line just using Studio. So to start, I am in debug mode, so it would be helpful if we enter developer mode slash debug mode before we start. If we just take a look at the quick custom field that I made just to show this, I'll just go into one of my sail orders, and I made just a custom character field right here. So I'm just going to write in test line, and we'll just do a quick manual save on that. We've got an invoice for it already, so we can just go into there, and now we'll be able to go into what we do. So I'm going to enter studio using our studio icon, and then I'm going to select our group of, of invoice lines. I'm going to hit edit list view. If we take a quick look right now into our existing fields, we're going to see that we do have one. Just do a quick search. We do have one for sale order lines, so we could drop in that many to many line right there. However, I'm going to go in to related field and drop that down. If we take a look, we don't have that sale order line as an option here. But if I go into, say, just another line, now we can click through. Now we can exit out. Once we exit out and go back in, we now see that that initial menu has a lot more options in it of fields that are on there. And we see that we do have sale order lines in there. So now we can enter the menu for sale order lines and if we go down, we see that we now have our option for our other field right here, and I can select that. So I can confirm that. And we see that this pulls through. We entered test line in the previous one, and then we can also just say the field name there. So by entering uh, just into one option, just Xing out of our drop down menu and then re entering it. We do get more options, one of those being our sailor line, so we can use this to pull that through. And again, that's just in Studio out of the box, and I'm in version 17. Thank you.